What's up guys, Dopesler930 here, and I haven't brought you guys a video in probably about two weeks now. I've been real busy finishing up school here, um, so I wanted to bring you guys a video. I figured, why not right now? Uh, it's going to be kind of a quick video, though, but it's an unboxing of my new hot air, uh, I guess, I believe they call it a uh, reverb station. It's a hot air station, and um, it's from AU, as you can see on the box. Briefly, I needed a hot air station to reattach um, the balls to the GPU of the Xbox 360 and PS3 for reballing and I was looking around and pretty much what I was looking for was uh, cost was number one I wanted I was trying to find something that was a fair price and um, reliability and I've actually owned this particular machine in the past I purchased it maybe two two and a half years ago um, and it lasted for quite a while and it ended up uh, breaking on me but I went and picked this up from Fry's Electronics for I believe with tax around 106 is what it was. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the unbo um, unboxing, guys. <clears throat> box, it's AU. I, I wish they would spend a little more time with box art, but it doesn't seem to be what they're about. Um, but their products are great, and they do package them well. Like, they're in there, and they, they package them with enough protection that they don't get damaged, which is what they, I guess, you know, what's most important. Um, so this is going to be the... INT 850A++ SMD rework station. Let's go ahead and crack this open. Let's see what we get. Alright, so right on top we've got the 850A++ uh, instruction manual. Pretty, Most of it's pretty self-explanatory stuff, not much um, setup really at all. Then we've got um, this right here, which is going to be the holder for the hot air wand. Screws onto the side. and. They include, which is nice, a couple different tip sizes that you can attach to the end of the hose if you uh, if you're working with smaller <clears throat> smaller components and you don't want to use the full hose size. Let's get this bad boy out. Let's see, I don't see anything else in the box. I don't think. Nope, that's it. Alright, so we've got just your standard, nothing special, just standard power cable. This is what we want to see. Let me see. My little setup's coming apart here. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's take a look at the front of this, so you can see it pretty well. It's not much going on, you got a little basic on and off power switch, and you've got two knobs. One is going to be for the airflow, um, obviously eight being the highest amount of air coming out, and one being the slowest, and because I'm going to be reattaching the balls to the chip, it's going to be pretty low, I'll probably have it on around two. And then the heat as well, you can crank up anywhere from one to eight, um, which depending on whether you're working with leaded or lead free, or what you got going on, you can adjust that. Um, not much else going on. The sides are plain. The back just has, um, there's a fuse fuse pot right there. So I actually didn't know this had a fuse on it. I remember a long time ago um, when I had my other one, it wasn't working. All I had to do was replace the fuse and it was ended up working again. Um, you got the port for the power plug. There is a screw on the bottom, a red screw. I do remember this, that you do need to remove. Um, it's I, I, I assume what it does is it keeps the stuff inside from moving around during transport, um, but it does say that you need to remove that um, before using, and it also says to reattach it before, um, I believe, transporting again if you end up having to you know, take it around. So typically I don't think you'll be traveling with it too much, so you keep it in one place. Um, but anyways, guys, well, I'll show you the hose real quick as well. Real simple. It's a real great station. Um, they do have another model. I can't remember the numbers off the top of my head for about, um, I believe it's $50, $60 more. And it comes with a built-in soldering iron. It comes with actual, because like, this one's analog, it has digital control, so you can just press up and down on the buttons. Um, depending on what you're doing, that might be the way to go. But again, for me, I was looking for something cheap um, that would get the job done. And for what I'm using it, this is plenty. All I need is to have control of the airflow and then to have a... Um, you know, a knob to be able to adjust the temperature to what I need it for. So, once again, guys, this is the AUINT850A, and it is a great, great little machine.
All right, well, if you guys are interested in finding more, I'll go ahead and link you in the description. And uh, once again, as always, thanks for watching, guys.